In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to introduce you to the special effects related to Fire and Fireworks. To get there, we're going to click on the FX on the left side to get the effect room. And you can choose from all content or you can choose from the, the content that's simply called Particle. And we're going to deal with Fire and these three items here and then Fireworks down here. What I've done, as I have on other occasions, is basically taken the effects and, and put them in my track number two along with a descriptor. So what I'm going to do is I'll close that out and we'll uh, go ahead and start playing our movie. So the first one is called Fire and basically this is what it is. Now there's several things you can control when you're using the fire. So we'll double click on fire. We can control our X and Y offset and our 3D depth. Uh, X is horizontal, Y is vertical. So watch what happens as I move this on the X line. Let's, let's put it right above the letter F there. And we'll lower it down. Okay, so now we have fire burning off of F. So if I go ahead and play it, uh, that's where my fire is located. If, if I want my fire to move, I can use a keyframe. So we'll click on keyframe and we'll start it where it's at right now. So I'll, I'll do the X and Y offset and the 3D depth. And so that is where the fire will begin. And then I'll move a little bit over into my uh, clip. And then I'll take and I'll move my Y a little bit farther down. And I'll move my X a little bit to the right. And there, now it's burning in the middle of that one. I'll move my keyframe over a little bit more, or my scrubber. And then we'll move it a little bit more, uh, leave it in there, a little bit over here to the right. And we'll have it burning off the letter E. And so that's how you can keyframe it. All I have to do is close that. I can go ahead and move to the beginning of the clip. And I can click on it, and now I have fire. And it's, uh, it's moving according to the keyframe design within that segment of the clip. So that's how you can use fire. The next one is fire huge. And uh, we could use keyframing to do the same thing. If I double click on the, uh, uh, I have the X and Y. I also now have a size. Um, I'll, re I'll say OK here. We can change the size to huge or smaller as well. I don't find this one quite as interesting as the other or as realistic, but uh, you can change it, you can keyframe it, and I'll just reset it back to what it was here, and we'll close that one out. The third one is one called Fireworks. We'll click over here and we'll play the clip, and here we have Fireworks. So let's show what we did here. We double click here and we can control the size, the density and the 3D depth. I also did some keyframing here, which is why you saw, saw them jump around. I actually added too many keyframes, uh, changing the density from one moment to another. And that's why they didn't complete. So this is an example of what not to do <laughs> when you're working with uh, with uh, this particular special effect. You don't want these quite so close together. But you notice when we play it that they kind of jump around a little bit. They stop and they just disappear for no reason. Um, but you can use special effects to control, uh, say, more fireworks at the beginning. or You want a grand finale and you can put them closer together. Uh, the next one is fireworks number two. It's just a different kind of of uh, image there. Uh, we have more persistence in the apparent phosphors here and they, they blow up and then they change again. We can click, we can control the size, we can make them larger or smaller. Um, and uh, now this is counterintuitive. The larger the number, the smaller the fireworks. The, the lower the number, the bigger. And the time interval 
is the, the shorter the time, uh, the uh, tighter they are together. So I'll click on that and close it. We'll go ahead and there, there's no uh, nothing else going on here in terms of keyframing. So I made them bigger. And so the idea is that they, they show up that much faster. So that's fireworks number two. Fireworks number three, again, different kind of firework, same controls. And the last one in this segment is GPU fireworks. Uh, for me, this reminds me of a Roman candle. I don't know when I'd use this. Uh, but again, the what you can control here is X and Y location. I'll say, all right. I can take, uh, I can take the X location here and I can move it left to right. Y, y location, I can move it up or down. And so those are some of the controls I have here in this particular one. And what you can do is you can take a keyframe and you can change at one point in time, uh, let's say the fireworks happen here and then we're going to move ahead in time and we're going to uh, take the X location and change it a bit more to the right and we'll take our Y location and change it a little more down south as it were And I'll close that there. And so now we'll see in this particular case, if I click on the beginning of the, uh, the clip, it will start there and then it'll shift over to there. So that's an example of how you can use the fire and fireworks in your special effects in CyberLink PowerDirector. Thank you.